Hey guys, what's going on? It's Oconic here, and today I'm going to be doing a follow-up video to the Bio Broly card analysis. Uh, because there were too many cards, we're going to go over the second set of cards here. Uh, specifically, this is really going to be focused on the LR Hercule, but we're also going to be going over the two Doken Awakenings for the Trunks, the Physical Trunks, and the Agility Goten. So without further ado, let's get started. So this is going to be a little bit shorter. Uh, let's go ahead and jump in with the Physical Trunks Super Saiyan Trunks. His base form or his uh, base card is Amazing Combat Sense Super Saiyan Trunks Kit. His leader skill is Physical Type HP and Defense plus 60%. His super attack is Final Cannon. Causes supreme damage to the enemy. Passive skill is Kid Rebel. Attack plus 70% when performing a super attack. Link skills are Golden Warrior, the Vegeta Family, Super Saiyan, the Innocence, Budding Warrior, and Prepared for Battle. His max stats are HP of 9185, attack of 7287, and defense of 4584. So I know this is going to be a little bit repetitive, but we're going to keep on going. He now token awakens into Spark and a Fierce Fight Super Saiyan Trunks Kid. His new leader ability is Physical Type Key plus 2, HP and defense plus 70%. His super attack is Final Cannon, causes supreme damage to the enemy, and raises attack for 3 turns. Passive skill, Opposing the Mighty. Attack plus 100% when performing a super attack. That's super awesome. I love that. Uh, and he raises his attack for three turns. Again, you guys know I don't like that on the super attack, especially for only three turns. It's really not viable in my opinion. But, I mean, with 100% super attack and then that, that's not horrible. Link skills are Golden Warrior, the Vegeta Family, Super Saiyan, the Innocence, Budding Warrior, Prepared for Battle, and he gains the Shattering the Limit Link. His new max stats are HP of 9664, attack of 7654, and defense of 4761 he is in order to doken awaken him he requires metals from the broly event the bio broly event he requires seven of his own metals which is the seven trunks metals now those trunks metals are available on stage two of the bio broly event the next card we're going to talk about is the agility goten burgeoning might super saiyan goten kit his leader skill is agility hp and defense plus 60 percent his super attack is Kamehameha, causes supreme damage to the enemy. Passive skill is Born Fighter, attack plus 70% when HP is 50% or above. Link skills are Golden Warrior, Kamehameha, Super Saiyan, the Innocent Budding Warrior, prepared for battle. His max stats are HP of 86869, attack of 7391, and defense of 4715. He Doken Awakens with medals from the event as well. He's also available on stage 2. For those Goten medals, you're going to need 7 of them in order to Doken Awaken him. And he Doken Awakened into Greater Struggle Than Expected Super Saiyan Goten Kit. His new leader skill is Agility Key Plus 2 and HP and Defense Plus 70%. Super Attack is Kamehameha. Causes Supreme Damage to the Enemy and Raises Attack for 3 turns. Again, similar to the Trunks. His new passive skill is Nature of Intuition. Attack plus 90% at the start of the turn. His new Link skills are Golden Warrior, Kamehameha, Super Saiyan, the Innocent Spudding Warrior, Prepared for Battle, and Shattering the Limit. So... His max stats are HP of 9021, attack of 7764, and defense of 4944. Now, with his new Doken Awakening, he becomes a pretty decent leader in terms of giving you HP. Uh, you know, usually you want to have at least one HP leader and one key leader if you don't have anything to really run good with. If you saw my LR Freeze event, that's what I did with the TN and the Vegeta. I used the Vegeta for the key and then I used the TN for the attack and the HP buffs. So, uh, I'm not saying he is a, your ideal leader, but if you don't have a leader, that HP buff is really good. The defense buff is kind of whatever because there's not that many units that have good defense until you start getting in like the defense plus 100% and they have their own passive that above increase. But with that being said, now we're going on to the one we are all wanted to know about, that is the LR Hercule. He Doken Awakens from, yes, the SR Earth's Savior Hercule. If you watch my other video, you'll know this and you'll know all the information about it, but now we get to find out how he Doken Awakens as well. Uh, it's not really going to go over his SR, SSR traits, we're going to go over the TUR and the LR traits, so all the information about him. But in order to Doken Awaken him, you have to purchase metals from the Baba shop where you purchase it with the Zenny. Um, each metal cost 1 million Zenny. So it cost him to Doken Awaken him from SR to SSR. Uh, that means from different cards. So you're going from Earth Savior to the next one, Champions Roar Hercule, which you see here on the screen. It cost you 10 medals to Doken Awaken him. Or, yeah, to Doken Awaken him. Now, with that being said, you, let's say you want to get him to super attack 20 with 4 dupes unlocked. You're going to have to do 10 for 6 cards. 
because you have to have the four cards for the two pairs and then the two cards for the SA-10 each. So that itself is going to cost you 60 million zen. Um, in order to token awaken him from Champion's Roar, he token awakens to Stacked Force Hercule. It cost you 20 million zenny because it cost 20 medals to Dokken Awaken it. That is an additional 40 million zenny to get the one with all dupes unlocked and the one with the SA-10, so we get to SA-20. Uh, let's go over his card real quick. Stack Force, Hercule, all uh, leader type, all types, HP and defense plus 77%. Super attack, present bomb, causes supreme damage to the enemy with a rare chance to stun. Passive skill, nice gift, high chance of increasing attack by 15,000, key by 6. Link skills are Shattering the Limit, Hero, World Tournament Champion, the Hercule Family, Soul vs. Soul, Golden Z Fighter, and Supreme Power. His max stats are HP of 9042, Attack of 7721, and Defense of 5336. Um, not that bad. I really enjoy the card art. I love it with Hercule giving the peace sign and then Boo sitting down, like laying down like he's dead. <laughs> it's freaking or like he, like he died. Yeah, I believe that was when uh, Hercule was taking the pictures during Dragon Ball Z, saying that he killed Boo. Last but not least, he Dokken Awakens with 70 medals, 70 belt medals, which is 140 million. So let's go ahead and think about that real quick before we get into the card review. Uh, you have the 10 medals times 6 for the 6 units at the beginning, which is 60 million zen. Then for the second Dokken Awakening, you have 20 medals per unit, wood times 2, which is 40 million. And then the last one which is 70, you have to get both of them up to by with 70 medals, which is 140 million. All that added together is you need 240 million zenny to get LR Hercule Doken Awaken with all four dupes unlocked at SA20. Now, I'm not saying do that. <laughs> I'm just saying that's what it's going to cost. <laughs> um, if you just want to do the one just to have the card, it's not going to cost you that much. Um, it's going to be the one card, that's that 10 medals, that's 10 million, uh, plus 20 million, that's 30 million, plus 70 million, so it's 100 million zenny. Uh, 100 million zenny just to get the LR Hercule card, but if you want all the dupes and all that stuff unlocked, then it's going to cost you more. Uh, but let's go over the card review. Uh, the card is a Strange Friendship Hercule. His leader skill is all types, HP and defense, plus 100%, super attack, present bomb, and Hercule Miracle Special Ultra Super Megaton Punch. Wow, that's a mouthful. <laughs> um, the present bomb causes colossal damage to the enemy and rare chance to stun. The uh, Hercule Miracle Special Ultra Super Megaton Punch causes mega colossal damage to the enemy. Allies defense plus 50% for three turns. Oh, okay, so that's allies, not his own defense. I didn't realize that. So he's, you know what? You know, a lot of people are giving this card garbage just because he is not uh, that great of a character because he doesn't deal a lot of damage. Uh, when he's fully duped out and everything. The card is more of a defensive card, in my opinion. I mean, think of it, is his regular super attack is a chance to stun, and then his secondary super attack is defense buff three turns for all allies, including himself. And his defense itself is 80,000, or 8,000. So you have him on, an, uh, on a freaking goddamn Super Saiyan 3 Goku-led team with the 120 lead. You do 2 one 2 120 leads. He is going to be buffing everyone. Everyone's going to be tanking. I get it, there are cards that you don't need because you have what you have to sell, which is already for an older TUR. He has a higher passive, and then on a 2 120 lead, if you have even if with no dupe system, um, 2 120 lead, he hits off on three orbs, and his defense, he's already he's already tanked. But this guy makes everyone else on the field with him tank hits, it just makes sense. But anyway, he's not a horrible card. I don't know who thinks he is, but I don't think he's a horrible card at all. Uh, would I spend the Zenny to Token Awaken? Well, no, because I'm not a JP player right now, and I probably wouldn't put all my Zenny towards that. Um, I would probably also want to save my Zenny for the other Token Awakens, for the other LRs. But yeah, he is really not a bad card. Uh, passive skill, ties with Majin Buu. Great chance for attack plus 20,000 and key plus 7. Link skills, hero, soul versus soul. Golden Z fighter, supreme power, the innocent shattering limit, and legendary power. His max stats are HP of 16,140, attack of 11,122, and defense of 8,077. His 12 key multiplier is 140% and his 24 key multiplier is 200%. Pretty standard. Yeah, again, he's not a bad card, guys, but that's it. That is the review of all the rest of the cards on this event. Hope that was helpful. Hope that made it a little bit easier for you guys. Those medals are going to be damn expensive um, if you want to get him maxed out. Uh, I, I don't know. I probably won't. But thanks for joining me here today. Go ahead and hit that sub button if you're new here, and I will catch you in the next video.